Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Home remedies are great. Using natural ingredients that can heal our bodies the right way over time, rather than causing chemical dependencies or other significant health issues, is always preferable. Fruits, vegetables, herbs, and oils can make us feel much better and many times without unwanted side effects of pharmaceuticals. One great example of this is apple cider vinegar. It's used to combat acid reflux, lower cholesterol and blood sugar, suppress the appetite, and even does wonders for the skin. Raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar should contain the mother, a mixture of beneficial bacteria that many believe is what actually gives this fermented liquid its kick. This popular multifaceted remedy is made by crushing apples, extracting the juice, and adding bacteria and yeast to move along the fermentation process. It's high in potassium and iron as well as two important acids, folic and acetic. However, it's not the end-all be-all of home remedies. In fact, depending on your personal physical condition, apple cider vinegar might actually be more detrimental than beneficial. Be careful using this home remedy if you meet these qualifications. Pregnant or nursing mother, the truth is that the effects of apple cider vinegar on the womb are not currently known. Therefore, until proper studies have been completed and more information is available, it's best to avoid any possible complications by suspending your use of this otherwise helpful remedy. Have already gone through menopause. Menopause generally alters a woman's bone mineral density and causes most women to take calcium supplements. However, apple cider vinegar negatively affects potassium levels. That leads to even further concerns about the overall bone health. Again, it's better to avoid ACV if you've gone through this major change in your life. Suffer from diabetes. The reason to avoid apple cider vinegar for postmenopausal women is the same for anyone who has diabetes, the lowered potassium levels. Why? If you're taking in insulin, it may also lower the amount of potassium you have in your body. Doubling down on insulin and apple cider vinegar could strip you of a vital mineral that the body can't do without. Speak to your doctor before deciding to take apple cider vinegar as a supplement. Take certain medications. If you have been prescribed medication for heart disease or to combat water retention, adding apple cider vinegar to either one of the medications can lead to less than desirable complications, including diarrhea and vomiting. As has been well noted here, Potassium levels change significantly with the use of apple cider vinegar. Mixing it with diuretics could lead to dehydration. None of these complications justify the benefits that go along with taking ACV. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.